Happy Saturday. Hope y'all doing well. I'm gonna do a quick message. All right, let's see here. These last few days should have been used as like releasing for you guys. That's why I just put their post up. Um, there's a lot of people who are sitting with um, unresolved trauma. It's like things that you're seeking, answers that you're seeking, that you want. And because, you know, all of us could be spending so much time seeking the answers that we need to for our souls to rest and we're not getting it, it causes us to be in this an this anxious energy, this not trusting energy, um, this energy where as though we put everything on um, pause around us because we're trying to get the answers to, um, to certain situations. And the crazy part about it is life is just like a maze. All we're trying to do is get to that end goal. So... That's what I'm working on to y'all, these roadblocks that came in our way. It's like, how can we, we, we successfully gotten around it, but what about the emotional baggage and trauma that we're left with? And that's something I'm working hard on is, um, is forgiving people. All right. Um, cause I'm, I'm very forgetful, but I'm not. I can't forget. So it's like things trigger me and whatnot. So I mean, I use these last few days as releasing because I know that the most high will bring me the answers probably when my heart is ready for me to, to take the answers. We think we're ready to know what we want to know, but we, some of us are really not at that level. All right, let's get some messages here, though, for the collective, and then we're going to all right, a message here. <clears throat> it's just like, how can we successfully get through our day to day without feeling triggered and wearing the trauma? Are your emotions blocked? Are your emotions preventing you from moving forward? Oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. Embrace your feelings, both positive and negative. Release anger and resentment. Watch your emotions be transformed into one that frees you to live in love fully. And this is exactly what I was talking about. This is this is a confirmation. Emotions have been blocked. We put our dreams on standstill. Um, we try to go through the phases of not feeling, right? Um, uh, and all of us have different coping mechanisms, but it's like after you try to... Um, suppress that emotion or throw it to the back it's always going to resurface so you know at this time it's best to embrace um as they go worry it's best to embrace your feelings um negative and positive some people will say oh well you stuck in the past and it's that in the third blah 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 well, we all on different phases of our healing journey some people are still angry some people are um some people are still sad. Some people are still remorseful. There's some people who's carrying shame and guilt. It's like we're all on different levels of our healing journey. That's why it's always best to try to, you know, find people who are on your level that can help you cope and whatnot. And, you know, you guys can, it's like an energy exchange, grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it, right? Some of you guys, you guys could be mourning the death of a family member or you still, you guys still haven't gotten peace over um, the passing of a passed over loved one. Or this could just be simply you losing a relationship or you having to walk away from family members or friends. What's the positives? What all did you learn from that experience? The negatives, how can you apply um, what transpired from that, from that situation to the next situation? And what can you do differently? All right, with endings come forth new beginnings, right? Yeah, we got death because it's, 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 it speaks all about transformation here. I'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings. Know that you guys are never alone. There are different groups that you guys can um that you guys can deal with. Like that's why a lot of us are on these channels, just looking for companionship and like people who can relate to the things that we've been through. Because like a lot of us, especially like myself, when we go to our parents and 
we try to get answers on things that happened to us in our childhood. They tend to say that we're crazy and um, we got problems. Like um, my daughter just told me the other day, um, and this is not the put family on blast. My mom told me that I'm going to hell for doing what I'm doing here. What am I doing here that's possibly so wrong? I got um, many emails and messages and confirmations of, of how I help people. And see, the situation is, is that they're upset because I found a way to help myself. I found a way to um, try to deal with my trauma by getting on here and releasing. It's because a lot of people don't want to speak about the things that transpired. That's why a lot of us get diagnosed with um illnesses, mental illnesses, such as bipolar and PTSD and things of that nature. And, but nobody wants to talk about, um, what stemmed us to, to get in there. Like in 2017, and well, since I've been working for my job, shit, I've been bullied and harassed since I started. And when I went to therapy one time, I was diagnosed as bipolar. It's like, how can one sit down face to face? How can you diagnose me as um, being bipolar? Now, for sure, I carry PTSD with me, but bipolar, mood swings, I'm, I'm an energy manager. I only give people what they give me. That's all I can do. That's what I've learned. But a lot of us have illnesses that they've placed on us, labeled us as, and it, it's, it's blocked us from forming connections and just moving forward in our lives and taking medications and watering down our emotions and how we feel opposed to dealing with the matter hand, hand on. All right. So yeah, and then we had envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. All right. I feel like some of you guys were very patient with your healing and we all know that fear comes with it because when something major transpires in our life, more than likely it's, 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 it happened to push us on our purpose. Now, some of us never make it to our purpose because now we're trapped in fear. Just imagine um, j just anything career field. You have a bad experience in one field or in uh, one encounter with one person and it traumatizes you to the point where you can't successfully work with anybody else or it's like a relationship um you being in a relationship with a narcissist so long that when you try to move forward with another individual um you're constantly triggered by what transpired in the past and is this person going to do the same thing for me it's like i know what i need i know what i want i know what i've been through is this person going to be able to um supply me with what i need and it's like as soon as that person isn't able to fulfill you it's like boom you cut so it's like it, it's just hard so you know spirit is just saying be patient be empathetic here with your healing and with those around you because some of us like myself are able to express freely what we've been through and that's what causes envy because it's like a lot of people haven't made it to that stage where they're comfortable of talking about what happened so it's like people like this the people who are envious they'll go out their way to have you enter a reoccurring cycle or for you to go through something else so you can get back on their level so you guys can trauma bond all right and we have discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind to. I feel like this is all about your healing, discipline, and growth. You guys can grow. You guys can heal. It's all about the lessons, the lessons that you went through and, and, and taking those lessons with you to help you grow, to transition into that next level, not wearing ego and pride, not thinking that you're better than the next person because you've accomplished a certain milestone or you successfully healed from a situation or, you know, anything like that. It's just like, it's all about understanding. And that's what I feel like a lot of us are working on at this time, understanding. Okay. Messages here for the collective. All right, yeah, so we have hostilities. All right, so this speaks about anger. This speaks about um, rumors. And then we have envy. So envy is out here twice. So, I mean... For some of you guys, um, with these endings, these cycles that you successfully close, you guys are going to be walking through doors that you never imagined yourself walking through. Um, for some of you guys, these are individuals who slandered your name to the point where they thought that you wouldn't even be able to rise up from the dirt that they placed your face in. For some of you guys, these are individuals who spoke so negatively on your name because of how you've overextended yourself or you, you know, you made yourself a sacrifice to these people's healing and they went out their way to go ahead and manipulate people to expose you or to, to bring your vulnerability to the light. And it's because 
your light agitated their demons. So this is like somebody here, like spreading gossip on your name or going out your way here to make you feel some type of way. Or this is like jealous coworkers upset that you've ascended to a level higher than them. And yeah, that you finally balance your emotions or you mastered your anger or you're not willing to flip out when something doesn't go your way. You just close cycles. And this is why you guys are going to have a lot of successful partnerships coming towards you guys. That's going to be very lucrative and beneficial and, and investors and partners. And you guys are going to be moving away from these people, all right, into a phase of love, all right? Because I feel like some of you guys are longing for love, haven't had it in a long time. For some of you guys, you guys feel like you weren't even loved as a child. And, you know, you just always place your emotions on the shelf and you made yourself a sacrifice for others because you wanted people to feel how you never felt. And you guys have somebody coming in with a man holding a heart. This could be a man or a woman here. Somebody could be indecisive how they're going to come to you, how they can fulfill you emotionally. But I feel like this person is ready. I feel like this person knows that you're ready. And somebody wants to bend your broken heart here. I feel like you are the angel of love. It's like you wear your heart on your sleeve. You bleed love, right? No matter what. And it's all transpired here with the healing. Some of you guys could be therapists. I see a therapist here. Yeah, like, like myself, I'm not a therapist therapist but I give a lot of counsel on a day-to-day -day and it's like what I hear from people it, it breaks my heart to be honest and I carry their pain and their trauma with me and that's why sometimes I question is this the line of work for me because of how emotional I am all right but it's caused me to protect my heart and I feel like you guys are doing the same thing at this time you guys have a lot of protection around you at this time all right at this time here you know you guys all right, warrior woman and sacrifice. You guys have made yourself a sacrifice in many situations here. You guys have carried the burdens and, and the pain and the trauma of others on your back. But I feel like at this time, you guys are being called to put yourself first with the sacrifice. This is what you're being guided to do. All right. I meant to say yesterday, happy Veterans Day to all the vets, the people who put their lives on the line every single day, regardless if you're in the service or not. We got civilians out here you know, who do the same every single day where you step in the line of fire, or you speak up for that child that's being bullied, or you speak up for the wrongdoings. And I actually got checked about something yesterday, and it was from somebody younger, and I actually appreciated it. Because first I got upset, but it's like, how can I get upset when this person is doing the same thing that I'm doing now? And sometimes we tend to see the, see the faults in others, but we don't see the shortcomings within ourselves. And I always love a person who could like check me right in my doorstep and like, look, you're doing this wrong or you could have did this better. I appreciate that because I love constructive criticism because I'm all about getting better. And I feel like this is the phase that you guys are in as well. All right. So we have fire in here. And we have you are sacred. Yeah, this is just like, uh, like you know, people just being upset that you value yourself more. Some of you guys have did away with things that are making you feel low, and you just you guys are just focusing on your self care. Yeah, medicine woman, healing was broken within, and bringing those inner issues to the light so you guys can successfully shift. This is what you guys are working on because with. Um, you guys got your stripes. You see them arrows? I feel like you guys are always striped up. Like, uh, you all, you guys always think it's a battle coming. Like, what's next? I know this is going to be a problem. What's next? You guys are being called to heal that. All right. Yeah, we got inner healer, internal issues. All right. Got people out here who could think, you know, some of us are savages or, you know, we just don't care. It's just, it's not that. It's just like, you know. We got to look at the bigger picture. That's what I mean. A lot of people won't understand, but we do have luck is on your side. Heavy Sagittarius energy here. So some of you guys could be a Sagittarius or dealing with one here. But Spirit wants you to look at the picture. What all did you obtain? What all did you grow? What all did you learn from these situations here? The grief, the jealousy, the sadness, the endings here. Yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches. I could be speaking to a Capricorn or you could do, or you could be one. But like I said, I feel like you guys are always striped up, ready for what's next. I know something's coming next, anxious and worried. Something's going to happen. But Spirit is saying that, you know, enough is enough. And if anybody here who thinks that they can place you in another cycle because they feel like you still should be going through it, that's what's going to happen to those individuals. All right. Yeah, we got to believe in the impossible. Yeah, just know that 
it's all over and all your pain and your struggles and your, and your stripes is going to be worth the wait here you guys have amped up on your spiritual protection here you guys are guarding yourselves your hearts but i feel like here at this time here archangel michael the most high god whoever you believe in they're not going to allow people to come into your life here to, to hurt you, um, to hinder you, to delay you. It's like you guys have um, amped up on your spiritual protection and you guys now know what's right for you and what's wrong for you with the seven of wands. All right. Yeah, the devil. Um, for some of you guys, I see you guys here working on addictions. This could be sex addictions. This could be drug addictions, however way it goes, or it's just things that's going to bind you. Um, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, or codependent relationships. Some of you guys could be working on this, blocking out the need for your company to be in your partner. I mean, in your presence at all times, or this makes you sad. Um, like this is like a, a a partner who works far away and you guys feel like, oh, well, I'm not with this person. This person's cheating or um, I need to be around this person for me to know that this is a successful relationship. I feel like you guys are working on this at this time here, coming out of these illusions, all right? communication is key but yeah i do see you guys here blocking off either um toxic partnerships or relationships and whatnot how it may goes because you guys are about to get justice all right there's um a successful partnership or relationship coming towards you but you guys got to know these false people with these devil energies coming towards you at this time here that could be trying to block you from getting this so you know um just make sure you guys um spiritual eyes are open all right, it's fine to be empathic care and, you know, you want to be understanding of what people are going through, but just know what you guys are getting yourselves into and um, and just recognize when people are trauma binding or um, higher way me goes. Like, if it's not what you guys are looking for, I feel like you guys should know that at this time. All right, what's the seven of wands? Just blocking this protection here. You standing your ground. Get yeah, the sun because you just want to be happy. All right. But I also feel like here you've been enlightened about these devils in your life and the things that people have done. Place these roadblocks and try to stop you from getting happy. People got in between your relationships and slandered you and bullied you and all of these type of things. I feel like you guys have been enlightened about this and you guys are blocking this out. All right. For somebody out there, there could be somebody very stubborn now that you guys could be around. This person here wants to block out enlightenment. It's like this person doesn't want to learn. You had a temperance in reverse. And this is why this person stays stuck. I could be speaking about either Sagittarius, a Capricorn or Leo here. Somebody's not good at taking advice. All right. Somebody also was unbalanced here due to some sort of addiction or codependency issue. This is what's causing somebody to be stuck and stagnant in relationships here. All right, relationships have not been moving forward. This could also be somebody here who's struggling with internal peace, all right? But, you know, spirit is about to work on this. With the Knight of Cups, you guys do have an energy coming in, something stable, something small. This could just be somebody coming to give you some flowers or wanting to take you out, um, show you a good time. I see horseback and a horse ride, and somebody could be going to Mexico. Somebody could be going to Cancun or something like that. We got the Eight of Pentacles, and we got the Hierophant. Also see a lot of spiritual work here. Some of you guys could be consulting a practitioner, but some of you guys is a practitioner who's doing work on you. All right. Let me see that. What's the high refine? Somebody's definitely going to be successful in, in whatever this the spiritual practice is or however way it goes. This is going to be successful. So I can have a spiritual business out there. This is what you're longing for. I feel like you're very passionate about that. All right. What's this high refine here with the three of wands? Also see somebody here wanting to work on a marriage or something like that. What's the um higher font here with the three of wands? We're gonna close this right on out. Higher font with the three of wands. Get a page of wands. All right. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely powerful speakers here. Um, I do see some good news coming towards you guys as well here. Yeah, five of swords, seven of swords, but just be careful to trick the energies. It's like somebody want to trick you out your position. They want you, they want to say you're not who you say you are, but the most high is here in the building, a high refine. All right. It doesn't matter. What's the page of wands, though? You're very inspirational here. All right. Divine, very so much. Good news is coming towards you guys for some sort of spiritual work that you do, or you being recognized in your community for some work. And you know, you, you're the empress, and you could have people around you here who don't, they're upset about your ranking here. All right. 
yeah, the five of cups and the ten of wands. Yeah, something that you speak is causing somebody a lot of sadness here, or you've expressed something to somebody that caused a lot of sadness. But I feel like you guys had to do this because you guys were you guys were told to do this in, intuitively because it's the weight that's been carrying on your back. Somebody here like has to speak up about something or this is what you've been doing and this is why you've been dropping these loads with the ten of wands that you've been wearing on your back here. All right, close this out. We're going to get one um, positive affirmation. Ten of wands in reverse. What you guys speaking up, what you've been through, or however way this goes, I see here you guys are releasing, and I feel like it's more so emotionally. There's a lot of blue in these cards. Somebody could have been crying a lot, yeah. And that's what closes the cycle successfully. You speaking your truth, standing in it, and owning it here. Laying things to rest. Yep, Queen of Swords energy. How I feel. Um, what I want, what I need. This is what transpired. This is why I'm that way. But I'm always open to changing here and growing and evolving and learning. And I feel like this is the phase that you're in, the aha moment, epiphany. And you guys will be successful with this. Think of one question that you would like to ask, Spirit. One question here that you guys would like to ask, Spirit. All right, so we have ask your angels. We have ask help for others. And we have meditation brings answers. So heavy on the praying and meditating at this time here. Ask your angels, whatever burdens that you're, that you're needing to release here. Just know, like I said, ask help for others. There are support groups. There are people who are willing to listen to you. But make sure you guys are sitting in this meditative state, not being around so many people, like gathering your emotions and why you feel this way and getting a grip of your emotions. So somebody's definitely working on codependency. Um, let's get one positive affirmation for the day, and we're going to close this out. I hope you guys have a marvelous um, night, evening, day. It's all different times in America. Today, I am brave. Today, I will step up to every challenge with courage. Yeah, and know that you guys are special. You guys are unique in your own um, in your own way, and understand that you guys are in control of your life and how you feel and how you respond and how you act. Free yourself of these emotions, these thoughts. Free yourself of people who cause you drama, people who want to resurface your trauma and stuff. Just free yourself, y'all. So that's all I have for you guys. Like I said, everybody have a blessed night. And I just want to say thank you for all the support. I love you guys so much. We're all on this journey trying to heal, learn, and grow. And, you know, the sole mission for each of us is to reach one, teach one. All right? Take care, y'all.